Let's kick off this. Okay, classic Shake versus Tabin. We've got Shake playing in Sweden, Tabin playing as Z Dutch. I believe Shake is probably in the top 50. Uh, definitely not going to blame that on the civilization uh, picks. But Tabin definitely sort of 2K Elo player, so um, noticeably better than Shake. Uh, not to say that Shake's bad any, by any stretch. But uh, the Dutch matchup. Sometimes this feels like a good matchup for Dutch. Sometimes it feels like an okay one for Sweden. I think it completely depends. I think I like going... I like starting Cav in this matchup if I'm Sweden. I think I like... To be honest, I like going... I like Cav starting with Dutch as well. I think Cav start for both of these guys is pretty good. I think Sweden can also rush. They can take the map. And they can go for the rack slash lever cannon rush. Shake 2020 AOE has gifted a sub to Lazaro says. Man like Shake. Giving out those subs like it's candy. Thank you very much, Shake. You're feeling very generous today. That's your third gift sub. Uh, I guess all I've got to do to, to make the Twitch monies is uh is just cast Shake's games every stream, yeah? <laughs> Okay, let's see what Shake's doing. I imagine he's going to go for free bills. This looks like a pretty standard deck. Duyuk. Pretty standard Duyuk. We've got the 11 Vaza allies. I, I don't know if that's worth being in there. I guess it is if you have the church card as well. Because it can actually bluff your opponent to think that you're going to be doing the church rush. But that's kind of fallen out of favour. I believe it got nerfed as well. Like maybe an extra like 500 wood or, or 250 wood that it costs now to get the halberdiers. So that's kind of fallen out of favour. Shake doing some standard stuff here. Just a little tip for anyone that's going to be watching this later on on YouTube. Definitely, whenever you see this green ring, do not have a villager eating on it. I mean, it's okay just having one, but you never want to eat anything off this deer. Because the longer this lasts, the longer these tops are going to have that extra 0.72 food gathering per second so you definitely always want to keep i like just massacring complete committing complete genocide around talks with a few of the deers like a few huntables uh, but this, this is a pretty good huntables around so yeah he's going to be getting some good talk gathering rate speed um out of that. it's actually possible it is actually still possible to age it with 14 bills as well if you get a couple of good uh, food treasures but you need to make sure you micro your huntables onto these talks very well and 14 vils is like age up has always been insane for Sweden. Always been insane. If you can pull it off. A Svi lifeguard uniform worth 75 coin. Oh, I like that. I was going to say Svi lifeguard. It's not going to give you a free Svi lifeguard, is it? It's going to give you the uniform. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay. Shake is aging up so he's going to be transitioning everyone on to wood he's going to be sending one or two villagers i like to send two normally to some gold mines so we can start building top sending a villager far forward is that going to be a barracks building villager i do know shake likes to do the standard outpost age up he's gone up with the governor which he is doing um another, another little cool trick as well is if you age up with the governor for example um and you you point your tc towards the torps so here it would just be you know right in front of it you can leave the the resource the resources the 200 gold crates that you age up with and then because your first card generally nine nine times out of ten it's going to be the dominions card that you're going to age up with and that 200 gold will then get get uh, gobbled up by the torp gathering ability so yeah just a little little you know it's only 200 uh, crates so it's only what 10 seconds of villager time but it's still 10 seconds of one villager do you know what i mean so you know that's 10 villagers for one second it all adds up so nice little tiny micro tip for you there um but i'm sure shake probably just gobble up straight away Hello? yeah this is definitely going to be for villagers now going to save up for 200 wood building a couple of torps that's a that's going to be a nice torp look at that maximum wood gathering right there look at that torp isn't it just beautiful look aesthetically very pleasing look 0.3 food, 0.25 wood, 0.27 gold. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. A great little metaphor almost for how quickly each resource gathers as well. Just a nice little thing. Okay, so the barracks is going down. Outpost is going up. We will take a look at Tavern because we have been hogging the screen with Shake. Going for early market. Dutch known for aging up very quickly. It's got a decent amount of gold. Got quite a lot of gold there. Gone for the double banks. So went more for one in transition. The 400 wood that he aged up with. He also used to build another bank and uh, 700 
food, uh, wood has now been sent, so he's going to get that with the market. I imagine we'll either see a stable or we'll see a barracks. We see a stable, as I say it, and the one bank wagon coming in. So that's, again, pretty standard play. Like I said, I think Hazar Star is definitely viable for both of these civilizations. Sheikh likes to do the outpost uh, barracks rush or, or kind of semi-rush, if you will. You know, it's 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 uh, can be strong, but you do sacrifice uh, eco for it. And Dutch can Dutch can counter this. Dutch can definitely definitely counter this. If he if he now sends in six hundred wood, gets the barracks. That's kind of a risky bank as well. But I, I guess it's okay because it's kind of defending this mine and and these uh, these huntables here. Really nice base build. Uh, well, it's, it's 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 okay base building considering these trees you know it's, it's difficult to build a, a defensive wall but he's done a pretty good job he's got a really good line of sight here he's gonna be able to get five hazards which is which is really nice it does come in later with dutch because obviously you have to wait for the 700 wood shipping to come in that is very unfortunate and that was a very ballsy house does Tavern actually see the fort he doesn't see this but he does see that there's deer that have been killed there so he definitely should have seen that and i'm sure Tavern would have scouted that manually and just seen that there's there's dead herds there so he knows that there must be a reason for that and there'll be villagers there which will be building a barracks only gets four hazards out definitely could have got five so that's oh no maybe he was he was pop pop capped okay he was pop capped because he wanted to get that house built so that's why so that was really nice actually uh shake denying the extra hazard there by just just you know get, making sure that villager was forced to go inside and he couldn't build that house could have actually sieged it down as well so you know that just that threat caused a tavern to not able to get an extra hazard out and and one hazard that's big you know that's you know what 20 percent of this force here you know one hazard would be an extra 20 percent so you know when you look at it like that it's pretty big obviously you're going to want to be killed killing some not running into carolines he's going to be killing some top building villagers that's definitely going to be his plan using this envoy to its full extent as well 700 coin coming in for shake that's bizarre 700 coin did shake just send 700 coin oh he's good oh he's, what he's going for fast fortress okay interesting that's one villager down there's gonna be two villagers down that's big that is big and he still has three hazards left which is really nice and there's gonna be have a field day if he sees all of these he's got definitely one or two over here there's four of them five five will make you get down now come on you can kill this oh he doesn't see it dabbing your eyes are closed buddy oh that's really unfortunate he does have carolines running around so it's not like he can do a lot but these the fact that these carolines are just running around he's not able to use it as long as he doesn't get hit as long as the hazards don't get hit then uh, these carolines are just running around and it's uh, kind of a wasted resource he's keeping him busy rather than him attacking his base so Making good use of these hazards. He has got two villagers, which is really nice. Shake able to get some double pumping going whilst doing this kind of semi FF style, which I think is uh, can be very nice because he'll no doubt he'll get two falconets first. So quite difficult. Although he the, the risk about semi FF is oh he's going to get another villager. Tabern, you naughty naughty boy. He does lose all his hazards, but I definitely think that's a worthwhile trade because that has bought. Not only has he killed some villagers. And disrupted his eco. He's got another five hazards. Very nice. He got another villager there as well. Oh, this is looking good for Tabern. What was that? Five or six villagers now? Very, very nice. He has 2k score in front as well. But when these two Falconets come out, that's a thousand resources worth. So as soon as that comes out, that is going to definitely shoot up his score a bit. Going to get his Explorer up. But he's going to lose Explorer instantly, which is a bit of a shame. That's nice 45 XP for Shape, which is exactly what he wants at this stage of the game. He's going to get veteran Carolines now as well. They're still going to lose two skirmishers. We'll have a quick look at what Tavern is doing. He's also following the age up. This is the risk. This is the very real risk of doing a semi-FF versus Dutch. He's on four banks, buddy. And you're just letting him. You're giving him way too much time. I do think um, Shake lost too many villagers there as well. Look, getting Gordon Mills. going to lose another one. Don't die, buddy. Oh, she runs away. Skin of her teeth. But now it's his turn. Shake's turn to push in. Gonna be sieging this bank down. Always difficult to know what to siege first when you when you walk into a Dutch bank. Like, do you go for the TC? Do you go for houses to try and population cap space him? Um, do you, do you deny the banks themselves the TC? What? It's just it's 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 a bit of a mindfuck. 
Um, so you just kind of want to go with what you see first because uh, it's very risky to dive in on TC. But taking banks is definitely a good about four villagers worth. Oh no, no, the banks are 92. Please tell me you're going to take that bank down. Do not let this bank stay up. Two five connects though. He's covering them well, but Minutemen, maybe TC fire as well. The nine roots of pop's going to come in at perfect time. And that Falcon is going to go down as long, as long as he can keep some skirmishes alive. He'll be absolutely fine. Please siege the bank. Buddy. Siege the bank. Make it worth one. <laughs> no. 92. Oh, shake. Shake. That awareness is horrible. Shake, shake, shake. And and Tavin is gonna is gonna be grinning with that one. He got away with that. That's four villagers worth. Two point seven five, maybe a bit more than four villagers. Maybe it's about five villagers. Roots is gonna go out for Ray, but gonna get by veteran Carolians. Shake could have seen that a little bit earlier, but he still does some damage. Oh no, Tavin, learn your lesson. Oh, he's gonna lose one router. That's not good. And and every little every little counts at this stage. You don't want to lose any units for free. Oh, Tavern got an artillery foundry. Now, obviously, because of the banks, it's going to be a lot easier for him to convert. Oh, does he? He stays for the villager. Oh no, that was not worth it. He lost three, four routers. Oh, Tavern, he lost five, and an extra one up here as well. That's five. Almost the whole shipment at this stage. Oh, not good. Losing too many units. Losing far too many units. These minutemen could clear up as well. Shake sending the 1k gold, I presume, there. Uh, that would normally mean he either wants to go for Jaegers or Artillery. He does have an Artillery Foundry. So I presume he's going to use that for Falconets. Which is kind of the standard with Sweden. It's, it's just so risky, though, because you almost, as a Dutch player, you know it's you know it's coming, right? You know it's coming. So I would be more worried if I was Sweden, uh, if I was Dutch, about Jaegers than I would Artillery. Because it's very easy for Dutch to convert their gold into artillery. So yeah, he's going to get one culverin. I think I think that's definitely the right choice. As long as you, th that's enough skirms, all right. Like that's enough skirms to deal with some Carolians. Um, he does have the ar arsenal as well. I wonder if he's gone for CIR. And there it is. As soon as I say it, counter infantry rifling is coming in. Now that is Sweden's Achilles' heel. Anyone watching, that is honestly one of the best techs you can get versus. Um, Sweden, because they're always going to have Carolians, right? They are always going to have Carolians, and if you, as long as you can deal with whatever they the Carolians are coming along with, which in this instance is it's uh, Falconets, CIR on skirmishes are going to absolutely rock Carolians' world. So that this bank should have been down, but he does take it down. Nice 280 EXP there, but you know it, that stayed up for another what two, three minutes longer than it should have done. So that that was a bank generating that much resources. Tabin, he'll charge Tabin. Tabin, run! Oh no, zero micro from Tabin. What's he doing? Tabin! Tabin, Tabin, Tabin. Uh, for a 2k Elo player, there should have been better micro there. That was very unfortunate. He's going to get the charging on the artillery as well. It was looking so good for Tabin there. More skirmishes coming in. There's still a decent mass of Carolians. What's he going to do with the Carolians though? That's the thing. Oh, he's losing more. Look. Move back, Tabin! <laughs> what is Tabin doing? This this micro is uh, questionable to say the least. He is still on. He's still on four banks, so he was on five, and then he lost one. He's he should be in a good position, really. I mean, his scores up. He's got CIRs coming. You know, probably wants to get some more. Probably be a good idea to build. It would actually be a good idea to build Falconets as opposed to Colvins. It's a good idea to build Falconets now. Sweden know that he's going to be getting uh, more artillery. So, um, it's it, if Sweden wants to build more artillery, like I mean, you're going to get fact. So going for the Falconets is kind of that mind game play, where he thinks the Sweden players thinks he's going to go for the anti-artillery, but in fact he's going to get, you know, the Falconet artillery himself. But, you know, this game's a can often be about mind games. Nice herd as well. Tavern should be sitting pretty. He just lost way too many units. He lost way too many units. And, and that's really, really unfortunate. Let's take a quick look. What's he going to be sleeping in first? Okay, Halbert is. Okay, that's that's not a bad card. I think he does need something to deal with siege here. He's got These units don't have good siege. So 
maybe he's looking to get some siege. And Halberdiers are a good meat blocker as well. They're a good like body block against a Carolean charge. Um, so maybe that's what he's looking at that for. Take a quick look at Shake. Shake going for Jaegers. One thing to know about the the Swedish uh, Jaegers, which I always forget, is they only cost 900 gold. So they don't cost 1k gold like normal Jaegers. So why they cost 900, who knows? Anybody, Anybody's guess why they cost, they're cheaper than uh, <laughs> other, other uh, Jaeger shipments from other civilizations. <laughs> I don't know. But they are going to be coming out. Look at these bad boys. They just... They are just skirm daddies. And Tavern doesn't really want to be standing here shooting. He wants to be focusing on the Caroleans, but he hasn't got a way to deal with these Jaegers. And that's that's exactly why I said it would be a really good idea for him to get Falcon S. At this stage of the game, you know, it would actually be a good idea just to go like Ruta Falcon S because he's going to be able to do it better than Sweden. I mean, Sweden are on max torque population though, so that could be a problem now. And uh, their eco is definitely going to going to start to overtake although although their unit composition is definitely more linear than dutch so dutch have the composition the superior uh, superiority when it comes to composition because they can get those skirmishers and rude skirm goon basically with artillery which definitely beats sweden in a big enough mass but yeah he, these jaegers are going to be a problem he definitely needs to get definitely needs falconets out at this stage Yep. Firing down on the weak Jaeger. I like it. But these Cavaliers are coming in hot. And oh, why is his Culver in there? And the charge is coming in again. Oh, and where are the Halberdiers? This is exactly where you need the Halberdiers. And oh, just Tavern just allowing these Cavaliers to get way too close to him. Way, way too close to him. Could we get some nice raids here? Shake going for an outpost there. Yeah, just again, this is the second battle where he's just. He's still up in score, but. Just, just, I don't know. Just losing way too many skirmishers. Just not great micro from Tabin here. Or Shake is just a genius with his with his Carolean charge timing. Who knows? Who knows? Rooters versus Jaegers. That is not where you want to be. But there is a decent enough mass of Rooters that they can probably start shooting these Jaegers down. He's going to come at a decent cost. Oh, just stuff everywhere. Shake, why on earth do you have villagers over here, buddy? You've got a massive herd here and here. Just Carolines doing Caroline things, swinging that blade. Shooting down some villagers. Oh, this is not looking good for Tabby now. And the cause, uh, scores are reflecting that. He still is on four banks, but versus 200 Torque Pop... He's making... Oh, my God. Jesus. He's going to be able to get a double batch of Jaegers. The only... The risky thing... Oh, and the bozzers are out. The bozzers are out, ladies and gents. Oh, my God. Imagine if he sees these Jaegers. Oh, but he's going to go for the raid. Okay, I respect it. These raid... Don't forget, every time he kill these Bosniaks kill a unit, it is going to give them a promotion. And that includes villagers... Or maybe it doesn't include villagers. I used to think it did. Maybe that got nerfed. Okay, it doesn't give him promotions. That's unfortunate. But imagine Bosniaks just squeezed in here right now. Bosniaks would do so much damage. Oh, he, if he has a good amount of skirmishes behind this as well, they're going to absolutely wreck the Caroleans. Remember, Caroleans only have their bonuses versus Cav at range. So if you can get in a melee versus them, you're probably going to be okay. Oh, this is going to be close, but this is too many Caroleans by the looks of it. Are oh, the Bosniaks going to be able to do enough? The skirmishers are in the background. Oh, there's two promotions for that Bosniak. Uh, there's one each now. They're on bronze, but bronze isn't good enough. You need gold, buddy. Oh, more Carolines coming in to save the day. And that Bosniak's going to go down. Really unfortunate. Bosniaks are kind of glass cannons. They don't have that much HP. The, 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 the gap is closing in school, but the, the longer this goes on, I feel like the, the better it gets to shake. Although... He's going very heavy on gold. And if that means he's got villagers on gold, it's risky because his torque mines will run out a lot quicker. It's kind of getting to that point now where Shake, uh, Tabin, apologies, uh, definitely wants to start to think about playing the long game. And oh, these Jaegers are still a problem, though. Shake only on 28 villagers, though. There was some good raiding at the start to keep that number down. So 
if he can just hold on to the long game, maybe kind of turtle up with some artillery, make it really, really difficult for the shake to push in, he could play the long game and, and kind of tire out the torps, you know, make them lose their berries. This one's almost out of berries. There's there's a, a quarter left of that mine. Oh, hiya! And that's going to be really unfortunate for Tabin. He's going to lose, what, 10 villagers here? Maybe more? Ouchie. And I think that might seal the deal. Does catch some Jaegers here. That's a really expensive catch for uh, Tabin. But look, there's just there's still this many Jaegers in the background. And that's just not enough skirmishers versus uh, Jaegers. If we take a look at Sheik. I mean, uh, he's got torque production, so his, his macro is looking definitely a lot healthier there. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to mass that many more Jaegers, though. Torp's definitely running out on mines. But, hey, that's okay, because just more Cavaliers, right? Now shipping in light and carriages. Definitely agree with that. Going to be able to get those bad boys. And, uh, I mean, they're age four. They're age four liver cannons, essentially. Which do really, really well versus artillery. And there's the GG. And no wonder Shake sent this over, because it was a dub against one of the best players in the game. Oh, Tavern, 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 Tavern. That was some questionable micro. Look at that villager raid. Shake went down to 16 villagers. Wow. Against Dutch, that is normally GG. Wow. Six villagers with those Hazar raids. That was 10 Hazars and he got six villagers. Man, like basically losing more than half. Yeah, basically losing half of his uh, villagers here though as well. Just getting pushed. Just questionable micro from Tavin. Tavin definitely could have micro that a lot better. Uh, he just got charged on. And uh, like I always say, versus versus Carolians, just sometimes that's the way it is. If you get charged, it can you make one mistake versus Sweden and it can be completely GG. Even if your civilization counters their civilization, very GG. If you get one good Carolian charge, changes the game. But GG, well played to both. Shake wanting that easy dub.